everyone! So, I am in a cemetery. Yes, I have my infrared going. Um, the cemetery is Laurel Hill. We've actually been... Hubby's with me. He's in the car. Um, we've already been using the necrophonic a little bit, because I looked in the rearview mirror, and there was something sitting in my back seat. So, yeah. <laughs> we just spent, like, a half an hour doing a necrophonic session. He's still got the necrophonic going on his phone, just to see what, you know, we pick up. Um... The few things that did stick out in my brain that, you know, from the session was, their name was Sam. I don't know if it's short for Samuel or Samantha. Um, they can't breathe and find their grave. And the find their grave was before we even started recording, which made me, made us want to start recording. So, but yeah, this is pretty dark. This is the first time I've actually really been able to get to use my lights, because I finally figured out how to do it. There we go. I might not be able to use the IR light, but... This is the back corner. And just so you all know, it is July 2nd, so there's fireworks going off in the area. Looks like a path to a farmer's field. That's actually kind of cool. I'll have to go to the dollar store and get some toys for kids' headstones.
You know what Ghost Hunters say about freshly charged batteries being drained, right? Oh, I got some of that going on now. I don't know how well you will be able to hear it, but... Hello? What's your name? Volume's all the way up on it. Did you say a name? Say Jen or Jay. Okay, I'm having a hard time carrying a cell phone and my tripod. I like these lights, so they flicker. If you hear the traffic, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the lights out of the road. a lot of speaking, it's just my tripod. I haven't figured out how to, uh, what kind of grease I need for it yet. Oh, trying to adjust it. Try to keep the plugs away from me a little bit more. Interesting little headstone.
one last squeak. No, no squeak. Oh, excuse me if you heard that, I'm sorry. I'm really close to the road now. Apparently people out here in the country really don't care if someone's walking around a cemetery. But if there's any spirits that want to talk, come and talk into this black thing that's sticking out. It's a lilac tree. Oh my goodness, I just walked over a fresh grave. I am so sorry. There's actually a couple of them. Well, at least, you know, where they had the dirt stored.
See, now that I'm away from the road a little bit, I can slow down, talk a little louder. That is one heck of a last name. Fowler. You're so foul. Those are pretty little lights.
different as I hear people talking. Okay, so if you heard that cough, that was just Hubby. That's cute.
my battery's in the red. All right, I'm going to end this here because I don't know what's going on with my battery. I'll try to make it all the way back to the car before it completely dies, but like me, you know, being a blonde, even though I'm not, oh, that's an interesting thing to find hanging in a tree. Um, I forgot to grab the other battery and bring it with me. That is one thick hanger. I don't know why it's in the tree, but it's hung in the tree. Maybe they just really like the movie Mommy Dearest? I think that would be kind of funny if they did. There is the car. I'm still hearing footsteps. If it was Tristan, he would just walk right up to me. So now you can see the car a little bit better. <laughs> 